Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson Number 62. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to create a new text style for paragraphs for the Xara Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 of the software for Xara. So if you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in Xara Web Designer MX Premium Version 8. And once you do that, go ahead and go to your toolbar and select the text tool. And once you select the text tool, first thing you're going to do is draw a text area and then you're going to go ahead and hit control shift L to create some fictitious text once you create that fictitious text we're going to go ahead and highlight all of that text we're going to go to our style list menu when you go to your style list menu you're going to click on create style because we want to create a new style for paragraphs so once you click that button it's going to bring up the dialog for create new text styles and the first thing it's going to ask you for is the name what do you want to name this text style so you're going to go ahead and give that a name in this case I'm going to call it fancy paragraph or you can you know what we'll name it something different we'll call it um, I don't know brand new paragraph so we'll name it something unique and after we call that brand new paragraph, and the next set of options is going to ask you for the type. And it's going to ask you, is this a paragraph text style or is it a character text style? And we haven't gotten to character text styles. We'll probably get into that in another tutorial. But in this case, we're going to leave it to paragraph style. So this is going to be a paragraph text style. And the next option is going to ask you, do you want to base this on another text style? In other words, do you want to take some of the attributes or some of the appearance features of another text style and in this case that would be normal text so any any attributes we don't apply to the appearance of this new text style that we're creating it would take on the elements of the normal text textile appearances and hopefully that makes sense for example if normal text had an underline under under its uh, text paragraph then because we don't have an underline under our new text style that we're creating it would take on those those underlying attributes or features in terms of appearance be, because it's based on the normal text text style which if it, it had the underlying added to it it would take on that attribute and don't worry if you don't understand that I'll show you that later on in this tutorial but in this case we're going to leave based on to no style meaning that it's based on no other style it only takes on the appearance of the current textile that we're creating which is called brand new paragraph textile now for the next paragraph we're gonna leave that the same style because we want the the previous or the most current paragraph that we created to match with the next paragraph that we create so next paragraph is referring to the next paragraph right right after um, our existing paragraph for this current textile and in the last part you'll see that there's a bunch of content listed here in our dialog menu it says text color font typeface Arial bold is off italic is off it's basically telling you all the factors that make up the appearance of this current textile that we're creating so that's that's pretty much what that's for and it even tells you what language it's in it'll say English US so there's a lot of information you can look at here to know what attributes you apply in terms of uh, modifying the appearance so let's go ahead and hit OK and that is our new text style and I'm gonna actually make some changes um, to this text style I'm gonna make it I don't know I'm gonna give it some kind of different uh, appearance and I apologize if my voice sounds a little crackly uh, again it's kinda early in the morning here and uh, I'm trying to make a tutorial for you guys before I get busy with the rest of my day but I'm going to change that text uh, font face and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger perhaps maybe a 20 pixel font size and I'm going to adjust it and now that we've made those changes just like with any other textile it'll have the plus uh, button right after in the textile list menu and that means that we need to update this uh, textile so click in your, your textile list menu and hit update style to make those changes now let's go ahead and go to the textile list menu again and this time instead of going to create style we're not going to go to it this time because because we've already created our new style 
So instead of going to that, we would go to properties to modify uh, the brand new paragraph textile that we created. So click on properties. And this time, our next paragraph is going to, we're going to actually change it to be based on the same, on a different style actually. I'm sorry, not the same. We're going to base it on normal text so that I can show you what that looks like. So in the in this dialog menu, set next paragraph to normal text and hit OK. So what's going to happen basically is when I hit the enter key, which I'm going to go ahead and do, and and create my next paragraph by hitting Control Shift L, it's going to take on the appearance of the normal text textile, and you'll see that in our info bar it says normal text. If you click anywhere in this second paragraph, but if we click in the first paragraph it takes on that new textile that we created called brand new paragraph so let me show you that again if you highlight this this first paragraph and you go to your style list menu you go to properties you'll see that for next paragraph we have it set to normal text so any new paragraphs that you create will be based on the normal text textile type which is why our second paragraph looks different from our first paragraph but in my opinion in most cases you won't want to do that so you would leave this set to same style and if you hit OK and then delete this first paragraph I mean the second paragraph that we created based on the normal text textile and then you created a new paragraph oh actually I need to go to the begin the end of the first paragraph so what you're going to want to do is click to the last part of this first paragraph for our, our brand new paragraph textile hit enter and that's going to trigger it to change it so now that we're in the next paragraph, hit Control Shift L, and it'll now look the same as your first paragraph. So just make sure that you place your cursor at the end of that first paragraph, and then hit, to ent hit the Enter key, and that's going to trigger it to to update the the changes that we made for uh, the properties to say, hey, we want the next paragraph to look the exact same. But let's go ahead and delete this second paragraph and get rid of that. And we're going to create a new text area this time. So go ahead and draw a new text area and then hit Control Shift L. And we're going to change this paragraph to actually be a normal text for the text style. So go to your stylus menu and change it to normal text. And we're going to actually change, uh, let's see, we'll make it underline. We'll underline it and we'll make it about a 20 pixel and we'll justify it to the right okay and once you make those changes we're gonna go ahead and highlight this first paragraph that we created called brand new paragraph textiles go to our style list menu in the info bar and click on properties and this time in our, our dialog menu we're gonna actually change the based on option and we're gonna change that to normal text so we want to take on any attributes that we're not currently using in our existing textile paragraph and we want to take those from this normal text paragraph so let, let me say that in another way that you probably will better understand basically what's going to happen is that any attributes we don't apply to this existing paragraph in terms of changing its appearance it will come from this normal text textile paragraph in other words, since we don't have an underlying uh, attribute for appearance for our current text paragraph, it's going to take that on because it's now based on the normal text textile. So you'll see what happens when I when I hit OK. So for this uh, for this we're going to hit OK. Well, before we hit OK, I want you to take into account that instead of it showing all those different attributes in our dialog box, it now just says normal text, which is one of our textiles plus Font, font typeface, blipo, light SF, and font size 20 pixels. So it's based on the normal text textile, plus it's based on what we already have for our existing brand new paragraph textile. So go ahead and hit OK. And in this case, I'm going to click on this uh, normal text textile, and I'm going to hit update. Because it was supposed to change, show the underline, but it didn't because I forgot to hit the update key which you can know I have to do that because it shows the plus icon there so make sure that you're doing that uh, as you can see it's very easy to make that mistake and not 
hit the update style for one of your, your textiles that you've updated. So once you click update textile, you'll see that now, not only did it underline that first paragraph we created, but it justified our text to the right. In other words, all of our text is on the right hand side of the screen. Now if I go back to this uh, normal text textile and I justify it to the center and then I hit update textile, you'll see that now both of these paragraphs are center justified because this, this uh, existing textile that we created, the brand new paragraph textile, didn't have a specific justification. And because it's based on this normal text textile, it's going to take on those appearance changes, those appearance changes that we don't have already in existence for this new textile. So again, I hope that this makes sense. It, it, it sounds a little confusing, I know, but I, I think you'll catch on if you watch this tutorial a few times and, and you'll finally start to get it. But if I were to move this underline uh, attribute from this textile, let's say that I remove the underline and then I go to normal text and then I go to update style it now removes that underlying feature it's no longer there so that's the benefit of basing your paragraphs on an existing textile is that you can make certain changes to another paragraph and it'll make some of those changes it won't make every change as you can see we have two different font types and if I were to change the font type on the normal text to another font type and then hit the update style from the style list menu it's not going to make those changes to this paragraph because it already has an existing font type and it has an existing font size so if, even if I were to change the font size let's say I changed it to size 13 pixels and then I hit update style under style list menu it's not going to make those changes it only changes things that don't currently exist in terms of its appearance so that's that is, that is, is in a nutshell what it means to create a new textile and base it on a new textile and it, it also I also showed you how uh, to modify the next paragraph for a, a textile for paragraph so if you have any questions please do send me a message on YouTube uh, again I, I know this tutorial is a little bit more complex and I hope that everyone understands it and if not you know definitely send me a message and I will try to explain a little further uh, how to manage creating a new textile for paragraphs uh, don't forget to subscribe you know give us thumbs up if this tutorial was even a little bit helpful uh, again I know it's kinda difficult and don't forget to uh, you know you know share our video favorite it you know help help us promote this video to help others learn uh, the XR software Thanks again and have a wonderful day and I hope you stay tuned for a future tutorial. Yeah.